Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is day two of anniversary slash legacy week. We're going to be opening Spell Ruler today. Uh, before we get started, if you haven't seen the Invasion of Chaos opening from yesterday, go check that out. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. Uh, it was about as good as good can be uh, when it comes down to it. So hopefully we carry that same luck going forward into today's video. Spell Ruler didn't really treat me that well uh, when it first came out. I pulled that in from Magic Ruler um, from the Unlimited set. I did get one Serpent Knight Dragon, uh, and that was about it. I didn't get any of the other kind of big hits. Uh, things have obviously shaken out quite differently. I've never got Relinquished, never got Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Obviously, Delinquent Duo, I think, is one of the best cards you know, in hindsight. Snatch Steel is a great card. Uh, in terms of playability, things like that. Uh, never got those. Uh, again, I was kind of late to the game. Um, obviously, I, I kind of started not immediately, but you know, I, I saw these sets when they came out, but I was hitting unlimited versions of these. So uh, hopefully we'll hit at least, you know, something good. If I get another Serpent Knight Dragon, uh, I won't complain. Um, I'd love to get the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Uh, and then... You know, maybe a Relinquished. I'm a huge fan, though, of all the Toon cards. Um, so Toon Summon Skull uh, would, wouldn't be a complaint here either. Um, but definitely we want to carry in the luck we had from yesterday and see what we get. So we'll get into them and uh, see, if, uh, see if we get anything good. And make sure that you uh, hit that subscribe button uh, to see if we... Uh, Oh, we got Cyber Jar. Sorry, I skipped past one. Cyber Jar. And then we got Black Pendant, a good spell card from the set. Uh, and then I'm not going to go through uh, too many of the commons overall. But hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We're working our way up. And then make sure that you tune in for tomorrow's video as well. Keep track as we make our way to the final opening this week of Legend of Blue Eyes, Horn of the Unicorn, and then nothing else in that pack. So tomorrow we'll be opening up Pharaoh's Servant, and then of course we'll end with Metal Raiders, and then, hope oh, we got the burger, and then Legend of Blue Eyes to wrap us out. Reliable Guardian, Eternal Rest, oh, the Giant Rat. But a lot of good spell cards in this set that ended up becoming um, very useful. Good trap cards as well, obviously. Spellbinding Circles in here. Delinquent Duo, like I said. Snatch Steel. Mystical Space Typhoon's in here as well. We got Boar Soldier. Hyozan Ryu. And Molten Destruction. It is not a rare. Or not a super rare. Or anything useful. Let's see, we got Umiruka, Fire Kraken, we've got Spear Creedon, the Hamburger Recipe, Rush Recklessly, followed by Mechanical Snail, so no more good cards in the pack. I need a Toon World. We got Performance of Sword, one of the Ritual Monsters we all had, Heroes, Shadow Scout, and Wall Shadow. Crank through them here. But yesterday we ended up pulling out both Black Luster Soldier and Chaos Emperor Dragon. We got the Mystic Tomato, and we got Messenger of Peace, which is a great super rare as well. Very playable. A lot of good, like I said, a lot of good cards in the in this set. Kind of stood the test of time. Reliable Guardian, Whiptail Crow, Karate Man. Got so many. Oh, let's go. We got the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Have never pulled it. And it looks to be in pretty good condition, too. Oh, I got a little bit of a ding on the corner, it looks like. Can't do much about that, but let's just take the back cards away for a second. So we have gotten both the big secret rares in each pack thus far. 
I'm gonna not make the mistake I did yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and grab sleeves for these. But we did not, I'm wondering if Konami's kind of helped out a little bit. Obviously these sets are, these boxes are coming in at modern day pricings, you know, 65, $70, I think, depending on when you got these. Legend of Blue Eyes is pushing mid eighties, I think. So maybe they're helping everyone out, making sure, you know, at least you get one, one secret rare, at least in there. Maybe a little bit going on in the corner. Maybe a little bit going in at the top up there too. But I'm going to take it. I'm not too worried in the end. I might send some of these cards off to get graded It when all said and done. Um, kind of thing. I've, I've got some other stuff that I want to grade. And just kind of get a big batch going. I, I don't really have an issue if it comes back with a... A poor grade or an eight because some of the stuff I got some stuff I want to preserve um, it's kind of some cool stuff that but that's a discussion for a different day on on reasons for grading some of the stuff's great for resale you know and then great for your collection and great because you think a card's cool you might not grade those cards with more expensive grading companies. Depends. A lot of various reasons. Like, I've got cards that I got some of those, like, promos. I got a Dark Magician from, like, a promo. Probably not in the best condition, but I'd want to grade it. Oh, Axe of Despair. Good Ultra. Also a great spell card, but... <laughs> Good Ultra as well. Never pulled it. I have commons of it. Never pulled it. It's like reliving the uh, the opportunities to pull all the cards that I never got to pull. Can't get the sleeve open. See if we get at least four Ultras in the box, though. That'll be what the tail to tail sign. But a lot of cards, it's like I want to I want to grade some of the stuff just because they're kind of classics I had, and they're hard to find. They're not going to be anything great. They're probably not the greatest condition, but they're from like the old collector's tins, things like that. I wouldn't sell them, but it'd be nice to put them in something a little bit more than just a top loader. So what they need. They need a service that gives you a good, like a like a Beckett style, like a BGS style case. I really like their cases. PSA has all right cases, but Beckett's are very like very nice, but their grading's too hard. Cyber jar again. Oh, we got a nice little tune world there. It's a super rare. Good throwback. Always been a fan of Toon World. But what I'm saying is, is that it's just one of those, those things I, I will enjoy having them. I, I like having the card. It's like I want to preserve it. And card savers and, and things and whatnot. I just don't know. I, I feel like I wish that there was a service that would put them in like the the grading seal. But you didn't necessarily have to have to grade them at the same time. I don't know why I'm looking at those. All right, we still only got two better ultras are better. Only got a few packs left. Firecrack and Horn of Light. We got commencement dance, so we get performance and sword out there on the field. We got the giant germ. Malevolent Nuzzler. Got a 
ritual summon out our monsters. Nobody ritual summons performance of sword nowadays. Lost of time. It's a shame. Just random peacock. What a turtle oath. We had crab turtle in here somewhere. Saw him already. Giant rat. The guardian of the throne room. Slot machine's brother. It is not looking good. On the category of ultras, we got Turtle Oath again, Octo Burser, Whiptail Crow. There is Flying Kamakiri number one. Painful Choice is non guaranteed super rare. We got four packs left. And still only two ultras or better. Like I said, I'm still good. I'm glad we got the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon though. Nimble Mamanga. And we've had plenty of those. It's like if I can get the uh, the big secret rare in every pack, except for Legend of Blue Eyes, I don't want really care for uh, Guy the Dragon Champion. But I always get Manga Ryu Ran every time I open up Spell Ruler. Never fails. Two packs left. But if I can get every big secret rare. I think I'd be happy. Jinzo would be a good one. Mother Grizzly. All right, we have one pack left. We are not doing well in Spell Ruler. Only two Ultras. It did not turn out well this time. So hopefully this is a hit. UFO Turtle. And we did get an Ultra Spellbinding Circle. So we did luck out. Last pack magic. One of the best trap, the best trap card in the set, right? For sure. There's nothing better than Spellbinding Circle in, uh, in Spell Ruler. Go ahead and put that in a sleeve. So we did all right. We got three ultras or better. We've got Spellbinding Circle. Acts of Despair, and of course, we can't forget our Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Let's get a like. Let's get a like on the video for Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Subscribe, and we'll catch you tomorrow for Pharaoh's Servant. Hopefully, we get the Jinzo. See ya.